Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. It's time once again for Facebook Friday. Hope you guys have had a good week. Um, this week I am using the Seaside Bay bundle. This is a really great bundle from the spring catalog that is carrying over to the annual catalog. Um, I'm glad that I got to squeeze it in before the end of the spring catalog because I know with all the new stuff in the annual catalog, I probably wouldn't come back to it for Facebook Friday. So We've got it. It's great. It's got some awesome dies. Um, we're going to make three projects. And the other thing that I am showing you today are two more new colors. Um, last week we did some new colors. Um, this week all the projects use uh, Boho Blue, which is an in color, and Misty Moonlight, which is a neutral. It's in our neutral color family, which seems odd, but it's a neutral. For some reason they put those blues in there. Um, and it was an in color years ago, so they brought it back because everybody loved it. So that's what we're doing today. Hi guys, I see you jumping on. Let me find you on my iPad and then we'll get started. Okay, there we go in the right place. All right. Okay, so um, I have a few things to tell you. I don't even know where to start. Um, let's talk about Club Create. Club Create for um, May. God, how is it already May? It's gonna be May. Um, features the Crafting With You bundle from the new catalog. Um, and I have turned off subscriptions for this because we are maxed out. Um, the PDF and video are still available. Um, and if for some reason I have some people drop out before um, the seventh, then I will open it up again, but I don't anticipate that. We'll see. Um, but if you missed um, subscribing to Club Create, just know that you can get the PDF. And it is, you can click Club Create at the top of my blog, and it should be the very first thing listed there. Um, crafting with you. If you are wondering, if you are a Club Create member and you're wondering what we're going to use in June, it's going to be the Zany Zoo. Um, I'm starting to really get prepared for the move. Um, we will be gone the last 10 days of May for the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip, and then we uh, move the third week of June. So I'm having to kind of plan ahead. I'm going to work on those projects next week, get them hopefully ready, um, and I have to use what we were able to um, get in the pre-order. I had Zany Zoo down anyway because I think it's super adorable, um, but just a little <laughs> peek into what's going on in my head right now. Um, okay, um, the Sweet Citrus Mega Class. Um, I wish you guys could see over here. I have already started working on this class because it is 10 projects. And um, five of them are 3D projects, which means they have a ton of scoring. Um, and so I have already started on that. I'm almost done with all the scoring, almost. Um, and there are a few spots left. So if you want to register for that, today is the very last day. Um, it will shut off tonight at midnight and that will be it. Okay. Um, the link, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, there is a, a PDF for today's projects and there is a link on the second page for that. Um, I have a, I just saw Patricia ask a question about in color club. I've decided not to do an in color club this year with a move. I just did not know how I could um, manage it. But what I think I'm gonna do in starting in July is a color club, and not necessarily the end colors, but focusing on all the new colors. And I think it'll run for five or six months. Um, it'll be kind of the same, but more of a class where each month you'll get a kit of, of two different colors and we'll have projects and a video and stuff where you can use your colors. Um, so if you, think that that sounds great, just know it's coming and it won't come until July. Um, so if you can be patient um, and wait for that, um, I think it'll be fun. We'll, we'll talk about different color combos and um, how the colors work together and stuff. I think it'll be fun. I've been spending a lot of time thinking on that. So, um, and I think each month I'll send you like the markers, embellishments, um, so if you, I, I think, so if you want to buy the ink pads, I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't nailed it down, but it's coming July, okay? Um, and that will be um, similar to In Color Club, but different, <laughs> okay? Okay. 
Um, Paper Pumpkin, I still have several of these kits. These were last month's kit. Um, it has two stamp sets in it, the plants. If you did not get one and you would like one, it also has polished pink spot. I have a few left. Um, please email me and let me know. Um, I also just got a couple of this month's Paper Pumpkins. So if you, you know, every month somebody's credit card doesn't get charged, they miss out, it happens. Um, you know how we all, all of us at some point, our credit card gets turned off because some scammer somewhere was trying to charge something and we're waiting for a new card and we forget to change our credit card on all the things. Um, Paper Pumpkin seems to be one of the things we forget. So if that was you and you need one, email me, please. Um, I don't have very many this month. I'm kind of trying to tamp down on what's coming in <laughs> because I'm going to have to move it all over to the new house in June. So um, just email me, please, about that, okay, if you need a paper pumpkin. Um, I am doing product shares, and I know you guys can't see this. It's backwards. Um, product shares are paper and ribbon. Um, you get a piece of every sheet. That's the word I'm looking for. Every sheet of new designer series paper in the catalog. Not the color family st stacks, but everything else. Um, and then you get a yard of all the new ribbons, and there are a lot of new ribbons. Um, I am doing that. So those details are up. Registration is open until May 1st for that. Um, I will work real hard to get those done um, by the very first of June, so you'll have them um, pretty quickly. It takes me about a month. I mean, it's a lot. So, you, And plus, we're going to Norway with Stampin' Up! Um, the second half of May. So this trip always comes at like a, a new catalog time, which is makes it a little tricky because there's all these things that I want to do, but then the trip comes and, um, and I had to throw in a move at the same time, <laughs> which makes it even more difficult. Um, but if you would like to sign up for those, um, today's PDF, I think, has the link for more information right there on the second page, okay? All three of those links are there. Um, I probably don't have to remind you guys, but the last chance list ends on May 1st. Last chance list. I know a lot of you took, took advantage of the free shipping um, last week. No, last week, two days ago, right? Two days ago. My days are blurring together. Um, so hopefully you got all the things, but if you have not gotten all the things that you want, um, things are still marked down pretty significantly. Um, this week, um, I'm offering Facebook Friday Make and Takes like normal. Um, all orders between now and Monday at midnight will earn today's Make and Takes. And then after that, I may be doing something else next week with some mystery boxes. I don't know. I saw Denise on here where she's working really hard for me, getting all of my retired stuff organized from, from years past. And I don't know. So stay tuned for that. Okay. But I won't be live next week. Next week, um, next Friday is a day off for my kids. Um, it's Fiesta Friday here in San Antonio. And um, I'm taking that day off. Plus, I always give myself that last Friday before a new catalog off so that I can just go through here and pull out all the retired stuff, put away the new stuff and get organized. So I won't be live next week, but I will be back on Oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five, May 5th. Okay? Okay, um, all star tutorial bundle. Some of you have asked me about this too. Um, we had not stated what the bundles we or the suites we would be using for May and June yet. I know what May's is, it's cut the countryside in suite. That's what the June all star tutorial will be using, but I don't know what June's will be. May's will be countryside in June. I don't know. Stay tuned. Okay. But this month it's Regency Park. I haven't sent it out in about a week. So those of you who ordered this week, I'll send it out. Um, Joan says, are you having a BOGO sale this year? Yes, I will still have a BOGO sale. Um, we're holding back new current or the newest Bo uh, retired stuff for the BOGO sale. And it probably won't be until August. I usually do that end of August. So yes, for sure. Um, 
The All Star Tutorial Bundle, 12 video tutorials, all designed, 12 different demonstrators, and you get it for free when you spend $50 or more with me. It's also $15 in my PDF store, and my project this month is a little box, a little clamshell box. Regency Park, so cute. I'm gonna put that over here so I remember to do it. I forget, that's my problem, I forget. Okay, um, let's turn the camera around. Wow, I cleared my desk off pretty quickly. And I will show you who our winner is this week. Oh, uh, there's a little squirrel running. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what happened? There's a little squirrel running around. Why are you doing that? Hold, hold on. Okay, come on. Something weird is happening. There we go. Oh my gosh, I thought we were, I thought I was gonna lose you guys. There's a little squirrel running around in my front yard and all I can think about is my murderous dog. A murderer. She murdered a squirrel last week. So he's probably looking for his long lost brother. He doesn't know what happened to him. <laughs> okay, the winner of last week's. Oh, where did I, I put it on a post it note? Where did I put the post it note? Where did I put it? Oh, I put it on the wrong one. Right here. Patricia Toth. You are the winner of the Lighting the Way bundle. Thank you for sharing my video last week. Um, I always pick somebody at random who has shared the video, either on Facebook or YouTube, and I give a prize away every week. So Patricia, please email me and let me know your mailing address. I don't think I have it. This week I've got a Playing in the Rain bundle. This one is so cute, and it is carrying over into the new catalog too. Um, dies and the stamp set. All right. Okay, I think we are at the end of the list of things that I need to tell you. Let's see who said they have a squirrel that eats peanuts, his little peanuts. That's so cute, Joan. I, they're cute. They are invasive and annoying, and I know they are destructive. When we cleaned out the attic a few months ago, we found a squirrel nest in our attic. There were like tree branches and stuff in our attic. They, I know they're destructive, but they are cute. I feel sorry for the little, the little guy that got nabbed by my dog. <laughs> I felt really, really bad. So now every time I see a squirrel, I think about it. All right, this week we are doing Seaside Bay. Every week, if you have not joined us for Facebook Friday before, every week I pick a product, product, usually a bundle, and we make three projects with it. Um, this week I'm also pulling in some things from the new catalog. So just like last week on today's PDF, this is free over on my blog. It has all the supplies and the measurements for all three projects. Um, if I put it in green, that means it's not available until May 2nd in the new catalog, okay? See how it's in green? So if you go try to order it today, you can't order it until the 2nd. So those green things are sneak peeks. If it's, if it's in red, that means it's being discontinued and it's marked down. It's on sale. Um, and it's available while supplies last. I think I only use one of those things, which is the By the Bay Designer Series paper. Okay, all right. And if you like today's projects and you put in an order using, oh, you can't even see it, it's way up high, using this week's host code by Monday at midnight, I will send you a little make and take kit for free um, next week. I, I cut them on Tuesday, mail them on Wednesday, unless... Unless something happens and I run out of cardstock and I have to order, but that rarely happens. Usually I'm ready. Um, and they look like this. So if you get the make and takes, guys, you have to have the stamps. I don't do any stamping for you. I do make a little tag for you, a little thank you tag, um, but I don't do any stamping. But you will have the embellishments, the paper, the die cuts, um, other than these die cuts. You'll need these stamps and these dies. And of course, ink and adhesive. Okay, I think we're ready. Let me get all the things that I want to show you. Let's see. I'm going to start. Here's my stack of paper. Remember last week we looked through all the paper. Um, this week I'm pulling out Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, and Night of Navy. So that's our little color scheme today. And the reason why I started with these colors is because I'm using on our last project, this Countryside Inn Designer Series paper. This is paper from the new catalog. I wish I had used that piece for what we're gonna do because that would be great. All of these actually would be good. Um, one side has just like a 
geometric type monochromatic pattern and then the other side is kind of a wild floral you know almost looks like wallpaper kind of deal um so the the pattern sides i think work best for what we're going to do um, but the colors in this paper are night of navy misty moonlight and boho blue it also pulls in balmy blue but i don't like that really with those very much <laughs> it looks fine in the paper let me show you when i put the cardstock when i pulled the cardstock out i didn't like it see it's just little like little spurts of that color um just little so we are using these three colors. Um, Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy are in our neutrals color family. And Boho Blue is the an in color, which means it'll only be here for two years. And remember during celebration, this guy, this was, you could get this free when you bought your starter kit. Um, this is Boho Blue. So I thought, let's use that today because it'll match our projects. You know, matchy matchy, so cute. All right, let me put all of this away, and then we'll make our first card. Funny story about today's card. I um, had to make, hold on. I had to make some swap cards using new catalog product. I am participating in a swap um, for the new catalog. And you know what? I was actually going to show you guys that card, and I don't know where it is. But anyway, I made that card. And I liked it so much that I copied it. I cased it for this card. Two different stamp sets, completely different colors, but the layout is the same. Um, you know, if you ever get stuck and you don't know what to do, you know, you're like, I don't know what to, you know, creatively you're feeling kind of stuck. Um, go back and look at your favorite cards that you have made. You'll be surprised at how much it will inspire you. Just copy the layout. Um, and change the colors or stamps or whatever. And then, you know, I, th I always think that's an easy stepping point is to, to start with a, a layout, right? What's wrong? It's frozen. N Nydia says it's frozen. Um, yes, okay, so somebody asked again about In Color Club. I'm not doing an In Color Club this year uh, because I'm moving, but in July... I'm going to start a color club. It won't necessarily be all the in colors, it'll, but it'll be all new colors. So stay tuned for that in July. I just, there's just no way I could do it with a move. I have, I will only have about a week and a half in here before I really have to start packing things up. And uh, I have to get Club Create done in that time. So I was worried that I wouldn't get it done. So we'll just wait until July-ish to do that. All right. I probably should put that on my blog too. Okay, Denise, you're not um, frozen? Okay, good. Okay, so let's get started on this. Um, let's do our stamping first. I've done a little bit of die cutting ahead of time. Um, I'm also using another new color called Pecan Pie, which is lovely. It's awesome, I love it. Um, it's a neutral, it's not an in color. I have cut the little um, shell from Basic White, and this shell is designed to be folded in half, and they, we have some pearl embellishments that go in here. They're flat pearls. Um, so cute, like a little, you know, like a little oyster or whatever. Um, we're not using it like that on this card. We're going to use it like that on the third project, though. Um, and then I cut a crumb cake and a misty moonlight deckled edge rectangle and a small basic white deckled rectangle. All right, let's see. We're going to start with the stamping. The crab in this um, stamp set is my favorite. I think of all the things in here, I like that crab. And so I decided to pull in, I wanted a color that would really pop with these blues. So I picked Cajun Craze. Where are all my ink pads? They're on the wrong tray. Let me grab those. And uh, we'll do the shell in basic gray. Uh-oh, the neighbor boy just got home from school. Let's see, is he going to play basketball all afternoon? If he does, you guys are going to hear it. <laughs> Y'all are going to hear it because it's literally right there. Um, What else did I need to stamp, you guys? That's it. The sentiment. Let's see, Misty Moonlight. We're going to stamp that right here. Hi, Kimberly. There we go. Thank you for everything. There we go. All right. Let's cut these two things out. And then 
we'll do, we're gonna do some uh, distressing of our paper. Now, I hid the plates over here. What did I do with the plates? Here they are. I tried to hide them to get them out of the way. And of course, do you guys do that? You try to hide something and then you can't remember where you hid it. <sighs> That's like me and passwords. I try to make passwords, especially like for screen time for my kids on their phone. And then I can't remember what they are. Oh gosh. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm totally going to remember this one. And then I don't. I once with my oldest daughter's phone, I mean, it, we were like locked out. I could not figure it out. It, I ended up doing all kinds of research online and finally figured out how to fix it. Had to go in and do some like coding, which I don't know how to do all kinds of weird stuff. And I was like, okay, Erica, you got to be smarter with these passwords. You know, nowadays with the passwords, man, it's so hard because every password has to be different, different characters. You've had the same password too long. You got to change it. It's a lot. It's a lot to keep up with. All right, we're going to add some sand speckles to our, oh my goodness, I can't pick it up, to our crumb cake um, deckled edge. And I'm actually gonna just tear it in half like that. And I'm gonna get, well, why are all my stamps on the wrong tray? I don't know. We're gonna use crumb cake. Um, and this, this little, these little sand, little dots, I'm assuming are supposed to be like sand. And I'm just gonna kind of go around and stamp once and then stamp again. That way you get two different colors. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Ooh, he didn't bark. It's UPS. It's UPS. Wow, I'm impressed. Good boy, Charlie. I heard him go, Rrr, and then that was it. I didn't even see him come up. I have my blinds open too. Um, okay. <laughs> oh no, that was scary. New studio, two months away, guys. We won't have to deal with that. Um, small blending brush and some crumb cake ink. And I'm gonna just add some ink to the edges. Usually I close my blinds and I cover the window on the door, but I didn't do that this week. It's so beautiful outside. I didn't wanna close the windows. We had a huge storm here yesterday, huge. Two different rounds of it. We got a ton of rain, which is, you guys know, unusual around here. And, uh, you know, it's like the rainbow after the storm. Today is gorgeous. Okay, I'm looking for my stamp chamois right here. I bet a lot of you got some storms last night. It was a huge, long system of storms. Um, seemed like I looked at the radar moving all the way up. All right. Um, Jessica says she recommends Bitwarden for passwords. Yeah, you know, I have had several recommendations and I do have something set up, but you know, you know how it goes. Sometimes you just do things and you forget what you've done. All right, I'm also adding Misty Moonlight a little bit, just some speckles there to the edge of our Misty Moonlight rectangle. And now we're ready to put it all together. I'm gonna put, uh-oh, I'm almost out of adhesive. I'm gonna put this right here. They should match because they are the same. They are the same um, shape, so they should be exactly the same. I'm gonna put this, these two grasses. Now these, all these came from, well, the grasses and the shell came from these dies. The deckled edges obviously are their own die set. Okay, now this guy, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fold him closed. You could of course cut it in half if you wanted to, but I think we'll just close it. You know what, I also wanted, I felt like this was a little bit too clean for a shell. So let's just add a little bit of, crumb cake to it. I just feel like eh, that's a little too white and shiny for a seashell. Let's grab my dimensionals. Sunny in 85 in Pennsylvania. Wow, that's pretty warm for this time of year, isn't it? Up there. You guys have had some warm weather up north. 39 in snow showers in Wisconsin. Lisa, I'm so sorry. Yikes. That, I'm sure you are sick to death of that. Ugh. All right, little crabby, he can go there. We'll get another dimensional. 
And we will put this right here. You know what, I think I forgot to add something to the list because I bet these are marked down. I didn't add these to the supply list, our faux sea glass shapes. Are they still available? Will somebody go look on the store and tell me how much they are? Because they're awesome. I'm gonna take my pecan pie stamp and blend and I'm just gonna color like four of them. And that'll change the color so it'll be kind of brownish, like rocks. Whoops, that one just went flying. Let's do a couple more. Thirty. What, Karen? Thirty-eight and stone. You tall? Oh man, you guys, almost May. That seems that seems wrong. That seems very wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? What's happening? Come on. Did you lose your sticky little guy? They're so little. You can use your scissors or your take your pick tool would probably be a better choice. Four dollars. Thank you, Christine and Laurie. Four oh and Jessica, thank you. Four dollars for these faux C shapes. So you need them, add them to your next order before they're gone. They're awesome. I really like them. Okay, so see we made like sea rocks and not sea glass because those colors weren't quite right for what we were doing. Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers, so you can color lots of things. And then the color, um, it, it dries real quick because it's alcohol ink. And uh, let's see, I feel like that grass is over a little bit too far today. Come on, guy, go that way. Well, all right. Okay, so there's our, our main focal point. And now I have blue ink on my hands, hoping that it's not going to get on our white paper. All right, now I have a piece of basic white. That is, um, what did I put? Three and three-fourths by five. No, no, this is three and three-fourths by five. And I put the Misty Moonlight, but this is Night of Navy. Either one will work. And this is three and five-eighths by four and seven-eighths. So let's take our designer series paper. This is that beautiful um, Seaside Bay or By the Bay designer series paper. It's specialty paper, which means it has some little shine to it. And it's um, marked down to $12 through the May 1st. All right, so we'll put that there. Okay, we wanna bring in also our Cajun Craze color for a little um, pop of color right there. If I can get that straight like that. And snip. All right, so let's put that on our matte, either Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight. Either one will work. And we need more dimensionals. Oh, Laurie says they're $3 or they $4 or $3? Whatever, either one, that's cheap. That is very cheap. I um, actually tried to order some more pearls, flat pearls, and I accidentally ordered the iridescent pearls. <laughs> Darn it, which would work fine too, but the flat pearls look more like, you know, what you would see in a, in a uh, oyster or whatever. Oyster, is that what, you know, that's what a pearl is then, right, an oyster. Now, what about these birds? We're getting ready to do these birds on the next card. Who knows what they're called? I think I know but I'm gonna see if I'm wrong or right. See what you guys think. These little birds, you know, they run real fast on the beach. They're so cute. All right, and then we're just gonna put this on a white card base, and there you go. So the only embellishment I used was the little rocks. And that's a pretty easy card. And you can, of course, change that sentiment. We've got sympathy, thank you, and then you are a pearl, rare, and precious, which we'll use on the third project. Sandpipers, sandpipers. Okay, that's not what I thought they were called. <laughs> My husband calls them something else. 
So I won't tell you. Because it looks like three people said sandpipers. Maybe they're called something else, depending on where you are. All right, so there's that card. <laughs> I'm going to tell him today. You told me that bird was called something something, and it wasn't. All right, let's see. We're going to need that. We don't need that. Let me clean up a little bit, and we'll get to our next project. So I hope you guys took advantage of the free shipping. Just to let you know, shipping is taking longer than normal. And the reason for that is because so many people have been ordering. Um, I think I told you guys this, or maybe I told my team this. They told us that they got almost as many orders on April 4th than like all of March. Like they got a ton of orders. So they are working really hard to catch up and just be patient. I mean, you know, you know, we, we learned how to be patient, you guys, in 2020, right? We learned how to be patient. We can be patient. Sometimes we have to wait a little longer for things. I don't like to be patient, but it's a requirement. Okay. Oh no, Marion, you forgot about the free shipping. I know. <laughs> Patient said food stealers. No, I don't think they are um, <laughs> um, seagulls. Seagulls are awful. Sandpipers in Florida. I, my husband said they were called kildees. Is that a different? Is that something else? I'm going to tell him he's wrong. I'm going to blame him. He's going to say, I never told you that. I'm going to say, yes, you did. Okay, okay, okay. Moving on. Whatever these birds are called, they're cute. There's a mama and there's babies. And every year about this time, I do a background like this. I love to do strip backgrounds where you take colors and do like, you know, a rainbow of, of colors. You can do like rainbow order where you use rainbow, you know, with actual colors. Or you can do, you know, shades of green, shades of um, blue, whatever. So I wanted to use these new colors and... That's what I used to create the background. So you're gonna need, let me get it. You're gonna need, where's my piece? A piece of Knight of Navy that is four by five and a fourth. And then you're gonna need some half inch strips. All right. And we're just gonna go down, you know, making a pattern like we're in kindergarten. We know how to make patterns. <laughs> Let's start with navy. And I always make my colors, I mean my strips, longer than they need to be so that I have wiggle room. Because I've told you guys, if I have to cut them the exact size, they're always gonna be too short, always. So I always try to just, let's just give ourselves some extra room, make them long, and uh, then we can trim them off. So we're doing Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight, and Boho Blue. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Next, Boho Blue. Can I talk and make a pattern at the same time? There are individual recordings of these projects today on YouTube. Um, if you need to come back and see something and you don't want to have to try to fish through the Facebook Live, you can do that. And I think, if I remember correctly, yesterday when I was filming it, I did mess up the pattern because <laughs> I was talking. So, not surprising. All right, all right. And then one more. And then you get down here and you don't have room for a full piece and so it looks like even I don't have a lot of adhesive there so I'm going to add a little bit you have like a quarter inch so just take one of your strips and put it there and then we're going to cut all that off now I'm going to set that aside to dry for a little bit while we do our stamping um this piece right here this piece that is cut at an angle is two inches by five and a fourth. And you wanna cut it from this corner to just about halfway. And you don't really need to measure or mark it. Um, just, you know, line the top corner up here 
and then about the middle right there. And then there's no reason for it to be exactly perfect, but you do want to leave it a little bit thick. You know, you don't want to go all the way to the corner because then it'll be too thin. All right, so now we need to get our grid paper again. And we're going to do the same thing with our crumb cake. I love a good dot stamp like this. You can use this for so many things. Texture, adding texture to things. All right, and then I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and go around the edges like that, just the top edge really, all right? Okay, so that's our strip that's gonna go on the bottom. And then we need to stamp our little birds, our sandpipers. And I stamp them in basic gray. Let's see, let's do mama like this. And let's do the babes like this. And notice the babies are all on one stamp, which makes it pretty easy. The die is also all in one piece. And we're gonna use that little, that little trick Let's see, I need a piece of scrap paper. I have a hard time. Let's see, here's one. Okay, let me cut this. I have a hard time lining this die up. And so, I have a trick for you. I didn't invent this trick, but somebody taught me about it. First, we're gonna take just a scrap piece of paper and we're gonna just cut out these birds from this scrap piece of paper, okay? Don't worry about the birds. You need the negative image. The problem with some of these dies is see how it's closed right here and then you need to line up the feet in those dots. And I mean, I can kind of do it, but I, you know, you have to line all of them up. So to make it easier on yourself, take your little template and put it on there, get it perfect. Okay, you can see exactly where it's cutting out. Where did my um, post-it tape go, you guys? It's missing. Hold on, where's my post-it tape? What? Somebody stole it. No, here it is. I stole it. All right, so get it framed in perfectly. I mean, you can get it like perfect, okay? takes, I don't know, these are hard to line up and then set that right there. And then we will put the birds, the die, you can just feel around and it'll sit down in there like that. And then you know it's in the perfect place. All right. And then we've got that post-it tape, so that should just peel off for a little mama bird. And then look, we, all our little babies are perfect, yay! All right, little trick. Now let's cut out the mama. She's easy because she's completely open. I know, isn't that an awesome trick? Since I have been taught that trick, I am using it constantly. It's so simple too, like why didn't I think of that myself? I don't know but it's brilliant. All right, there's mama. All righty, we are done with our die cutting. Let's bring back over our trimmer and our, our strips. And we'll start on this edge. And we're gonna cut off. That was the scoring tool, that's why that didn't work. <laughs> you can't cut with a score, a scoring blade. But you can accidentally cut. You know, if you use your scoring blade, okay, it's fine. But if you are trying to score and you accidentally use your cutting blade, have you guys ever done that? Oopsies, you have to start all over. That's, I prefer to score on my Simply Scored, mainly because of that, because I, you know, I'm just moving fast and I'm not thinking. And then I slice something that wasn't supposed to be sliced. 
All right, there's our strip background and our little, let's get our little sandy piece. Um, you know, I forgot to cut something else out. We're gonna have to do that in just a second. If I can locate the dimensionals, they're always under something. So many times, yeah, I know. I know, I know. All right, right there. And we'll put that right there, like that. Now we're gonna save one bird for the inside of the card. Okay, and we're gonna put these little guys on the front. You guys, we had a soccer game tonight and my daughter texted me right before I went live and she said it's been canceled because of weather and she was so mad and I'm like, yes! <laughs> soccer, you guys, I'm not a fan of soccer. Not a fan. And they don't make these games up and they've already missed one so I do feel kind of bad for her. They only have six games in one season. So, okay, fine, I feel bad. But I'm glad now I have my Friday night, woohoo! Okay, we did not stamp the sentiment, and I'm actually using something different. I'm not using this stamp set. This is a new stamp set. Let's see, can I use this piece? Um, called Timeless Arrangements. It'll be in the new catalog, and it has matching dies, which are really cool. Look at these dies. So you would like cut that, you know, from green or whatever, and then you could put it behind the frame. I thought that was very clever. We're not using that part today, but in the future we will. And a bunch of really good sentiments. So we're gonna stamp. You can do this in either Misty Moonlight or Boho Blue. And we're gonna stamp that right here. Okay. Bring back over our little mini cut and emboss. Now this mini cut and emboss machine is no longer available, but um, the baby, the white, the little white machine is. So if you like the size, you can get it in white. All right, I'm gonna tape this down just to make sure. I find that on this machine, things wiggle a little bit more. So I'm gonna use tape just in case. Now notice I stamped it so that it's on the bottom of this stitched rectangle. Let me put this back, I don't wanna lose it. All right, so we're just using the bottom section. And we're gonna put this on with regular adhesive. And you wanna leave room for a linen thread bow. I am going to cut some of that off like that. All right, and then our linen thread is over here in the bowl. And I'm just going to tie a little tiny bow. Again, this card, any sentiment you want. You know, it doesn't have a birthday cake on it, so it doesn't have to be birthday. You know, it's pretty vague, open ended images that you could use for a lot of things. All right, glue dot, there we go, last but not least. Oh wait, no, you know what? We're gonna decorate the inside too, unless I've lost that piece, here it is. I don't always decorate the inside of my cards, but when you have a dark card base, you do probably need to put something on the inside so that you can write. You know, writing on Knight of Navy cardstock is gonna be difficult unless you have a white pen. So taking a quarter sheet of basic white cardstock and we're just, let's just stamp these little, this little sand right here. Stamp like that, make a little, little blur of sand. And then we've got that baby, remember? We have that little baby left over. She's lost. She's the wandering child. You know, there's always one who's not paying attention. And we'll put her right there. <laughs> She's like, where'd they go? It's usually the third child, the third born. They're just not paying attention. I have one of those that lives in my house. Okay, there you go, guys, pretty easy. And you know, change up those colors, change up the sentiment. Um, I love doing a strip background 
I uh, have done it many times with different colors. Um, I think it's a fun way to play with color combinations and to use those new colors when we have new colors. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. And we have one more. And it's a 3D, of course. Man, I'm moving pretty fast today. Hold on, let me get a drink. These are pretty simple projects. All right, so for the 3D project, we're gonna make a little beach bag, okay? And funny story, I thought, okay, we'll order some Laffy, not Laffy Taffy, salt, salt taffy, is that what it's called? Salt taffy? to put in here and I couldn't find blue specific, but I found a big bag that had all the colors. So I was like, okay, I'll just order that and I'll just pick out the blues. Well, out of the whole bag, this is how many blues there were. One, two, three. I'm like, are you kidding me? So that's why they're on the top. And then there's brown and white and purple on the bottom. <laughs> I mean, the one color I needed was the one color that they did not put in there. Ay. Amazon. Just Amazon. Okay, so thanks, Cindy. I'm glad you like it. Salt water taffy. Thank you. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Salt water taffy. I've never eaten salt water taffy. It doesn't sound good to me at all. I don't know. It just doesn't sound good. But how cute will that be for a party, a beach party, a pool party? And look, here's the little pearl. See that you put in there? And we'll stamp the sentiment on the inside of the little... Um, seashell and then this is our new pecan pie color too which i really really like okay now this bag is actually a box on the bottom and then you just wrap the paper around it it's really easy um you're going to want to use tear and tape but let me just show you here in san antonio where it's humid see my tear and tape it pops open so if you live in a humid climate, um, I think liquid glue does a better job um, than tear and tape here. Um, although I like both. And I like the tear and tape for this because we're gonna use a lot, we need a lot of skinny strips. Anyways, just to let you know. And if you are having a lot of problems, pull out your hot glue gun, <laughs> which is what I'll do here. I'll just put a little hot glue there and it'll stay forever. All right, so the measurements for this, the measurements for this are right here on the third page, four and a fourth by three. And you're gonna score it at half an inch on all four sides. Okay. And then get your bone folder. And I am gonna use liquid glue on here just because it's easier. We've got some little tiny squares and I just think it's easier. Um, I need my tiny scissors. Here they are. Now, this box is not going to be seen at all. You can't see it at all. So don't worry too much about it. You don't even need to snip the corners on this because you're not going to see it. So just snip these score lines along the long side. And then let me grab my clothespins. Um, we're going to put a little glue Oh, the neighbor's rattling his trash can right outside my window. That usually sets the dogs off. I can't wait. The new house, we have a, um, an acre, so the neighbors are not super close. And it's going to be peaceful. It's going to be separated from the house, my office. My husband has said he's going to work from home some, and I'm like, say what? I'm like, oh, great. I'm not going to be all by myself all day. <laughs> <laughs> say what no sir you need to go into the office every day every day I mean right am I right okay so see what we did we folded those little corners up at least I will have my uh cone of silence Lisa yes believe me I need my silence I do I'll have my little bubble um he'll come out and be like look at this funny video while I'm trying to work. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Men. I love him. I do very much. But you know, there's always something. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for a minute. I hope he's not listening. I love you. 
Love you very much. Very much. Um, let's just put this on the back of here. We're going to stamp that sentiment right here. If I can find my ink right here, over here. And these are stylish shape and layering circles. Now look, here's another thing that's leaving is the layering circles. What the heck? I cannot create without circle dies. So I will be continuing to use my circle dies, you guys. If you don't have circles, you need to get some circles. I mean, surely you have circles, right? Everybody's got circles. You are a pearl, rare and precious. And then I'll just get a pearl. These are the little flat pearls. I think there's two different sizes here. Look how cute they are. And we'll put that there. And then we'll fold, try to fold this in half like that. All right, now pecan pie. Man, this stamp has seen a lot of action today. This, this sand um, image. We're gonna go all the way around this circle. Like that, with pecan pie ink. And then we're gonna add, layer these up with dimensionals. Um, Nidiot, so, so funny thing is, here in, in this house, I have sliding barn doors on my office. I'm right at the very front of the house. And I used to be upstairs in like a loft area, which had no doors. And so we moved down here, we put those doors on and they're worthless. They come together and then the one slides over, the dogs can nose their way in. There's no way to like have any silence down here. You know, by the front door, it's just been chaotic. But over there, believe me, I do plan on already having like a, I'm gonna put a sign that says filming, you know, like recording a video, don't come in. And then it's gonna be up all day. <laughs> <laughs> all day long don't come in I'm recording videos <sighs> that's why it's so hard when my kids and my family is here to 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 work to do videos and um, to do Facebook live because literally you know my youngest is playing basketball right here in the driveway which is like right outside my window they're coming in and out of the door noise 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 all the noise it's gonna be awesome Awesome, awesome. If I can actually get there and get everything moved without losing my mind. We've done lots and lots of packing already. So I I'm feeling good about it. But you know, you're never ready. Okay, this is a piece of that paper and I put it on the wrong side. Darn it. Okay, that's all right. We can fix this because we are going to put, a, we're going to put a, um, a border on that anyway. Put the adhesive, the tear and tape on the long side of the back side, okay? Because this is the side I want to the front. And then also put some tear and tape right there on the side, okay? And then we're just gonna peel that off. It's so satisfying peeling that backing off like that, long strip. Okay, so now, we're gonna start half, halfway in the back on the long side. And we're just gonna very carefully wrap it around. And you wanna really just try to stay as close to the edge as possible. And when you get to those corners, you can kind of pinch that down. Uh-oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. You know, after it rains, then the molds come. And they make me, um, last night when it stopped raining, I immediately had a stuffy nose. I don't know if that was just a weird coincidence, but I was like, already? Already? All right, now, I am gonna take this little bit off because we don't want that to stick to that. Pretend that that's not there. All right, and then you just fold that over and then stick that like that, okay? And then there's your little bag. That's how you make the bag, really, really easy. You wanna make sure you go around, push in those edges, Okay, so now we're gonna put a little border on the bottom and on the top. And luckily, luckily for me, I was thinking ahead and I put the adhesive on the front side first. Yeah, I was thinking ahead, you guys. Um, okay, so these are half inch by 11, and we'll just line these up exactly the same way. And you just slowly go around.
matching that edge. I like to not push it down right away so that if I need to lift it back up, I can, because I do have to lift it up sometimes. And then get that laid down right there. All right, so see, we've got a little border on the bottom. Now, how I usually do this, and then, I mean, the other way was fine too, but take your tear and tape and put it on the long strip. And peel that off. And now we'll do it on the top. Same exact way. Line up your seams so they're all in the same place. Now, if you wanted to use that um, paper that matches the sweet, what's it called? Seaside Bay? I get them confused. One is, no, Seaside Bay is the stamp set. By the Bay is the designer series paper. You could do this by cutting your paper into three, you know, they come six by six. So cut it down the middle so that you have two three by three pieces and adhere them like this. So then you have a long piece. It won't be three and a fourth. It'll be just a little bit smaller, three inches, but that'll be fine too. And then you'll have a long strip of DSP and you could do that too with that paper. Okay, so there's that. Now, these are the handles. They are three eighths of an inch by six. And I'm gonna just give them a little curl right there. And you know, I'd rather use liquid glue here, but we're almost done and I don't have anything else to do while it's drying. So we'll just, we'll just use tear and tape here on the ends. Hot glue for these handles too would be good, especially mine is really full. So if I was gonna give this to somebody, I probably, would hot glue those handles just so that they don't pop off. You know, these would be cute too. If you had like a little pool party and you put like a little suntan lotion in there, a little aloe vera. Last year when I went on a trip with some friends, I got those little like um, travel aloe veras, travel sunscreen, maybe some travel rum, <laughs> you know, and put them in there. That would be really fun. All right, so push that down. Now, if it's a kid's party, just stick with the candy because they don't care about any of the other stuff. And definitely skip the rum. <laughs> definitely skip the rum. Unless you're gonna give it to the parents. Oh, I put this on the wrong side too. Let's see, is it too late? All right, well, we'll, you know, you know, no problem is too big, guys. We'll just curl it the other way. No problem, we can fix it. All right, now peel that. Let's get that stuck. Peel. Oh, come on. And peel. And there we go. And then this one goes back here the same way, like that. Um, I thought they needed little like grommets or nail heads, you know, like a bag would have. So get your um, rustic dots, your metallic dots, and put those on there. Isn't that so cute? So cute. Right there. Get that centered. And then last but not least... Do I have the hole punch? I had a hole punch, here it is. We're gonna take a hole punch and again with our linen thread. Man, I have a huge mess. I need to move some things out of the way. Huge mess. And we'll put this right here. And we're gonna tie this on to the handle. All right, now you guys, while I'm tying this on, let me remind you that I'm not gonna be live next week. Next week, I'm gonna be cleaning, organizing, getting all the old out, getting the new in, planning new stuff for the, 
for the new catalog. So there will be no Facebook Live next week. Um, but I'll be back on May 5th. And I think if you've seen the new catalog, I think we're going to use the little monkey set. It's so cute. A little monkey punch. I already bought some banana treats. I ordered one thing from the grocery store with my groceries. It was chocolate covered banana slices. And then when it came, I didn't realize it was frozen. <laughs> like, well, that's not going to work. We can't use a frozen treat. That would be a problem. I guess I'll just have to eat them. You know, I searched, if you guys have in your area a grocery store, do you have like grocery where you can pick up or have it delivered? And I always just search like banana or lime or lemon or whatever I'm looking for to see what comes up. And if I can get it delivered with my groceries or picked up with my groceries, I like to do that rather than order from Amazon. But Amazon does have a large selection. And I usually, that's where the taffy came from. All right, so boho blue ribbon. I'm going to just, it's got two. You know, it's got the linen thread and the boho blue. So two bows. And the boho blue is just glue dotted. Is that a word? Is that a verb? Glue dotted. It's glue dotted to the tag. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. Okay, there you have it. There are three projects. Oh, my gosh. I can't pick this up. There are our three projects. Look, let's look at them. They all have different paper. Look. Oh, so cute. You guys, if you're having a summer party, you have to make these. How cute would those be? Okay. Now, I do not have a fourth project for you. I don't. How lame is that? I didn't get one made. But I will show you this. This was in last month's All-Star Tutorial. And on Monday, I'll post something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll post something using this suite if I can find time to make something. I will. If not, I'm going to share a card that I made and shared with you before. But you have until Monday um, to put in your order if you want these make and takes for free. Um, you'll get all three of these projects in the mail from me. Uh, make sure your order uses this host code and your order is over $35. Um, and what else? By midnight on Monday. Okay, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Wonderful weekend. I'm going to check my email one more time this afternoon. If you were looking for the Citrus class registration link, I sent it out in an email yesterday. So if you're on my mailing list, you have it. It might be in your spam folder. My emails go to my own spam folder, my own emails. So look for it there. And uh, today's the last day. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you in two weeks. Um, let me know if you need anything. I'll be here. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.